Emergency managers hope this unseasonable sunshine gives people time to prepare for the high chance of high rain hitting homes or closing roads, a risk for businesses laid out in a recent roundtable. It would be, you know, nice to know that, yeah, you have a confidence level that uh, when we're hit with something that's, you know, adverse that we can meet it or at least try to. And a safety concern so far unfelt by people on this side of the Cascades. This is not a new hazard for the United States, but this is a new hazard for us in Western Washington. Western Washington knows landslides, from one that caused a home in Seattle's Magnolia neighborhood to collapse, to another that destroyed this house in Bellevue. But we're not used to these. Debris flows are a type of landslide composed of fallen trees, mud and boulders that travel like rivers down slopes. The National Weather Service says our area has never seen a burn scar this severe of this scale, carrying a high risk of these disasters. And this is happening in a location where we have homes and infrastructure that are at risk of being uh, demolished, really by uh, potential debris flows and flash flooding. If rain falls fast enough, the flow will overtake nearby roads and not just Highway 2, which could close people off from travel. They say people living near this area, especially in Bering or Grotto, should stock up on emergency supplies and pack an evacuation bag. And anyone driving near it should sign up for King County alerts. The U.S. Geological Survey says that as little as a quarter inch of rain happening in 15 minutes could potentially lead to flash floods or and then lead to debris flows. Now, there are some measures that can be taken and have elsewhere in the country to prevent these, but those are really long term measures. Right now, they say what people are able to do is take those preparation techniques. We're live at the King County Emergency Operations Center. Eric Zuko, King 5 News.